All right, hello everybody. I'm here showing off the benefits of the 141C crossboard. I'm gonna sort of mock up and show you how we wire a motor starter using the crossboard system, and then how we might have done it in the past using a traditional power distribution block. So we'll start with the crossboard. Um, we've got power incoming to the connection module, which is feeding this back plane here. Um, the starter's gonna pull right off that bus, and the, the components are plug and play, so it's super simple. So all I have to do is line this up with a crossboard push, and now I'm connected to the power bus. So in a matter of seconds, I can mount, I can, uh, mount multiple different starters, different components, super easy. Less wiring, less wiring labels. On the right-hand side, I kind of have a, a setup to show a traditional power distribution block. This is, we're gonna pretend there's power incoming on the top and we're gonna wire from the block down to the starter. So we're gonna have to go get our spool of wire, our wire snippers, and we're gonna start uh, stripping wires and getting these ready. So each wire, we're gonna have to apply a wire label to each end. So I've got uh, fake wire labels here for illustration purposes only. Um, when we did our time studies for crossboard, we approximated for each uh, wiring connection saved with the system, you can save about seven minutes. So if you think about uh, start applying multiple starters onto the crossboard, you can definitely see some good time savings here. So we'll pretend that I've got my torque wrench out. And I just torque that wire perfectly. Okay, I've got one wire done, not to mention I'm gonna have to put this wire in uh, some panduit and do some wire management in addition. So let me chop off my next wire. And I've got my next wire cut here, so I'm gonna just strip off the end. Do some wiring labels, very shoddy. So by now I could have wired three crossboard complete systems. All right, perfectly torqued, of course. Oh no, I missed a wiring label. And I missed torque to that wire. It might come loose during shipment. That could be bad. I've got my last wire cut perfectly to length. Apply my fake wiring labels. Again, when we did our time studies on this, we calculated you could save about seven minutes per wire if you were uh, using a panel professional unlike myself here. So I've got all three phases in and now we're connected to the power bus. Um, so that was just meant to be kind of an illustration of the time savings you could see between uh, the 141C and the traditional way. Um, obviously this is a little cheesy <laughs> mock up here, but uh, kind of illustrates the point the a really nice value proposition of the crossboard is the plug and play. And that comes in on the design side, the panel build side, and the, even on the end user side when you start to maintain this equipment. You can imagine how much easier it is to pop out a contactor and uh, do some maintenance on it. Thanks.